Hello, I'm Mike Mason, CEO of Weathermatic. I want to give a huge shout out to Perry Webb, Chantel Ortiz, Kachina Landscaping, Southern Botanical, and Outdoor Solutions. They all just recently got back from a water well trip in Guatemala. I want to thank you guys for a job well done and all the people that you helped literally save their lives by providing fresh drinking water through our Save Water, Give Life program. Thank you again. Keep up the great work. Most people really don't know how the Save Water, Give Life initiative was created. Several years ago, a dear friend of mine, Matt Piper, passed away who was really close to me and he was very critical to the company. Well, Brody and a few other people from around Weathermatic decided it was time to get the big boy perk back up. I'd been really trooping around and moping around after Matt's passing. So they suggested, let's get you down on a water well trip. I said, what is that? Well, it's where we build and deliver a fresh drinking water well for people who are in great need. I went on my first trip with Brody to uh, Guatemala. <laughs> and if I were to tell you what all happened, you would never believe it. We were trapped at the airport with a blazing fire. We went down a mountainside in a, just a crazed uh, taxi driver, only the next morning to wake up and arrive at this village where the kids were running and playing, but they were carrying little sandwich bags full of water. And this was their only allotment for water of the day, but they had to carry it all the time. Well, several days go by as we're constructing the well, and as fate would have it, we finish the well, we're ready to donate it or dedicate it to the village, and it's bad water, sulfur-filled water. Well, they turn and tell Brody and I, well, we'll just come back in a year or so, and we'll do it another time. <laughs> Well, you should have seen the reaction from Brody and I. We said, no way, we can't look these kids in the face and leave without water. Brody and I literally just got down on our knees in prayer and began to pray and just ask God, you can't do this. You've got to deliver these kids. Literally at that moment, the rock formation that had been blocking us on the new constructed well broke free. Where it normally would take a day to get this drilled, it took about 30 minutes. And then we hit the most precious source of water that they had ever seen. It was a miracle. It changed my life. I sat there and said, if I can do something to help other villages, just like we felt this one, I want to dedicate myself to that. So I aggressively, maybe too aggressive, stood up and said, Brody, we're gonna build 500 wells before I retire. The sad part of the story is though, several years later, just recently Brody passed away. He was the champion of Save Water, Give Life. He went on the first well, and I'm sure he's looking down on us now thinking what a great job we're doing, but he's probably sitting there going, Mason, you gotta pick up the pace. And that's what we're trying to do now. I would really encourage each of you. So many of you have already done it. Y'all built wells in the honor of your family and friends and special co-workers, people who've touched your life. But there's such an opportunity to change the lives of more people. I would really encourage you to just consider it. It's a wonderful experience. Go on a trip with us, go see what it's like, but give the gift of fresh water to people is something that you will never forget. We'd love for you to be a part. God bless you and thank you.